add a lot of rigidity uh, in this direction as the battens add rigidity the other direction. I decided to add a ruler to the deck which allows me to set the fence up to a certain measurement. I can write that measurement down and next time I want it set up to the same spot I just have to set it back up to that same number. I also have a ruler on the top of the frame that helps me to set my templates to the right position. You can set the height by actually drawing on the back of the template and you can set the uh, distance across by the number on your ruler. So you just have to current, current, correspond with uh, an existing number on the ruler. Okay, I had to work on some dust extraction. Um, there was a bit of a problem and that is uh, the router normally has dust um, the router normally has airflow, sucks in the back and blows out the front. Now that clears the dust away from your work but it also blows it right away. So what I've done is use this system through here to collect that air and re-divert it out the top of this clear vinyl guard. So the air is diverted out the top and we have the vacuum system hook on to here which sucks the dust away. Now this works very good with this, particularly with this spiral bit cutter as the spiral actually as it cuts directs the wood chips away from the cut as well. So directs the wood chips in so they can be collected by that extraction. Now one problem with that was that when it was fully down fully compressed when it was fully compressed the guard was coming in contact with the cam that was there to counterbalance the weight of the router so I had to reduce the height of the cams and to increase tension on the spring to compensate for that I made a little adjustment on the pan router that was just to extend the length of the handle. I found that the length of the handle where it used to be put me too much in front of the action and um, anything that could have deflected off the blade could have deflected off and made contact with the operator. And when I use the machine I use safety glasses but often students will take a shortcut, won't take any safety glasses or safety protection while you're not looking and they'll end up with sawdust and chips and stuff in their eyes. Um, so to reduce the risk of that I just added some length to the handle. Now it changes your body position naturally from standing right in front of it to comfortably you want to be standing sort of beside the machine. Just that little bit of extra length to the handle change my body position. So if anything was to flick off now it would likely go past me and not impact into um, the user of the machine. One thing that bothered me about the Panda router was the wood on metal movements. Um, it'd be alright for uh, a machine that I had in my own shed but if I was going to use this in the workshop at school year after year eventually the wood would probably wear out a little bit um, so I decided to grab some little uh, bits of tube, stainless steel tube um, and some brass rod um, there's zero clearance between them, it's quite a uh, snug fit to get them to fit and a little bit of glue can be, just be added to allow that to um, move so you've got metal on metal contact rather than wood on metal contact. That's also used in uh, the handle for depth, the depth handle as well. In the Panther router and just thinking that um, it would be pretty handy to have switches mounted on each handle because you're using two handles at once 
why not have a switch on each handle and if one of the switches cuts out it turns that router off straight away and first of all I thought you know this is going to be safer for the students to use as soon as they take their hands off the handles the machine's going to cut out and but I found that it actually makes the machine run quicker and easier as well because there's no need to reach down here turn the switch on and reach back up it might not seem like a lot of work but if you're doing uh, repeated operations it's easier just to grab here and go for it I have a transformer redirecting the power from 240 volts down to 24 volts runs through the wires here just two switches that simultaneously have to be pushed now what you hear is the vacuum system underneath the extraction system and um, also goes back to a box at the back of the unit where I have a relay that turns the full 240 volts on for the router itself um, the reason I dropped the power was just again to uh, increase safety if um, somehow someone cuts through this cord they're not going to uh, electrocute themselves